did you wear this morning? Why did you choose those colors? How did they make you feel? What colors do you usually like? What colors do you favor most? You know, society has its own choice of colors. In Western society, we favor purple and black for funerals or death. If we think about those colors as auras, purple is a spiritual color. Black is the color of earth. During the holidays, we favor red and green. Red is a loving color. Green is a color of growth. And even for Halloween, we look at orange and black. Earth, and in some cultures, especially Eastern cultures, orange is the color of spirits and spirit guides. So naturally, we know a little innately about colors, but did you know that every day you wear your own natural colors? Every living thing has an aura. It's called your energy field, and it's your own natural color. The energy of your aura is the energy of your body, the physical part of you, and your spirit, the non-physical part of you. In fact, if you look at paintings that were done of the ancients and religious paintings, you'll notice halos and emanations of light that come from the people's heads. There are three parts to an aura. There's the mental and physical part, the emotional part, and the spiritual part. In fact, we can take pictures of a person's aura by using Curlian photography. Using light-sensitized film, you can take a picture of the energy field around your body or any living thing. In fact, the Soviet athletes used this process to look at the muscle groups when they were training for the Olympics. The Musicland Group is proud to present the Scimitar Video Sample Reel. See highlights from a few of the great special interest videos from Scimitar Entertainment. 
All available now at any Musicland, Sam Goody, or Discount Record store. Pick up your pen and make a list. Scimitar Entertainment is about to show you a few of their best. All right, guys. It's time for testing. I haven't played this game since it came out. There's a challenge mode? Is that a different thing? Oh, it's like timed? Yeah, okay. How's it going, guys? Yeah, I'll just fucking go. There's no difficulty in this game, is there? It's just the game. I don't even know how you could make it harder. There'd have to be multiple versions of the puzzles. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Look up at the ceiling. I don't wanna. Okay, Good. fine. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Yeah, there's not a lot going on at the beginning of Portal, huh? Please go stand in front of it. You got it. It's art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. You got it. Sure is great being a living human. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine. This courtesy call Hello? Is Anyone in there? The Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. At any time? To have exercised mm. his or her right Hello? To remain in no. Relaxation for the Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Or concerns regarding this policy, or I'll just open the door! That's too aggressive. Of this message. Hello, Hello friend! Why not open the door? In front of oh, I should turn on subtitles, yeah? <laughs> And write us a letter. Could Good be luck. Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... Fine. No, fine. absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. All right, look. Okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me... We're both gonna die. All right, I didn't want to say. Ah! Ah! Oh God, you look te um good, looking good actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Yeah, this game's so good. Down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what, that's close enough. Just hold tight. Yeah, the writing is so, so good. Guards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Hmm. Oh. OK, 
Hey, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. That's their train segment. Pretty cool. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that. you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. Sure do love jumping. Yeah. Good luck. And yeah. And Man, they send you back. To the aperture That's cool. Enrichment center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can be done. Even in the event of environmental, social... Yeah, this game... I remember this game running really well and looking really good back when it came out. In three... Two, one. Also, it is it is such a such a wet dream for like uh, ruined ruined uh, interiors. What is the like? There's a subreddit for it. Just like overgrown buildings and stuff. God, this game is so thick with that at the beginning. Ah, I remember thinking it was like walking through a dream uh, when I first played it. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. That's nice. I do like how they uh, they do they do sort of send you back to the aperture testing with this like fresh coat coat of like uh, run down decay, and then man, you just go in some crazy directions. It's so so good. Yeah, the first portal you open is the one that you see, uh, where you can see yourself, so you immediately get it. Yeah. Valve at their peak. Down your neck. Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. At their peak, Valve software, a rare like, had Nintendo level getting it kind of stuff. Emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> Flitzanu, thank you for the raid. Your icon appears to be that of an angry zombie. A game that I will also beat sometime. Oh yeah, I guess going back to that. Can anyone who's done it let me know if trying to get S plus in Resident Evil 2 is like fun? Is that a fun thing to do or is it just tedious? Can I just smash through this? Oh, I'm gonna need to throw something into it. It's curious what camera you use for streaming. Looks crisp. Uh, I use a... Oh yeah, and then like this portal appears in front of the button so you have to see that. 
And then you're like, wait, that's my back. So you turn around and you're like, oh, that portal takes me there. You get it immediately. It's just like humbling how amazing it is. And it's just a bummer that it hasn't happened since. Eh! Wait. Eh! Got him. This is peak game design to you? I, yeah. You can learn a lot from like Half-Life, like Half-Life 1 was cool because it kind of understood the haunted house mentality. It put a lot of stuff around your path and it controlled your path really smartly. So that's what like Half-Life 1 was awesome for. Half-Life 2, I think you started to see a lot of the, like it was, it was even a level above that. It was like, okay, we know where people are going to go. So let's put barriers in the path that demonstrate incremental understanding and then ask the player to combine all those later uh, to like make them feel like they've arrived at a spontaneous solution. Um, to me, that was a lot of Half-Life 2 of like showing you how balls work, asking you to use the energy balls, and then asking you to use the energy balls in combination with a lot of other stuff. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been re- It's good to hear. You're okay with this? Please don't hear it. Show my vlog. Started downloading my favorite finest videos. I already finished 245 videos now on the hunt for any extra good videos I haven't seen in a while. Currently, I have all the downloaded videos on a flash drive. If I get to meet you guys in the future, would you sign it? King, sure. Or other governing body that either as long as you don't ever sell it. Is incapable of listening to us. But yeah, sure. That, I think out of everything I've ever signed, that would be the most appropriate. There's no other online gaming cap platform that comes close to Steam. You know what, Floppy, you're right. I think actually as much as nobody wants to really talk about it, Origin is real good. It's got a lot of those features. A lot of them. And it's slimmer and faster. Epic does kind of suck. It's, it's young. It's better than Steam was when Steam launched, but that was also like 800 million years ago. Did they ever really establish what happened to the world in Portal? No. But, uh, I'm pretty sure the, like, the leaked plot of episode 3 establishes that it is, uh, it is Half-Life verse. Portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Yeah. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Origin doesn't have the range of steam. I mean, yeah. Should have asked that first. <laughs> I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. <laughs> See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. I don't think I ever finished Half-Life 2, but I'm interested in the apocalypse they created. Yeah, it's not really apocalypse, right? It's just occupation. Um. Oh yeah, the Rat King. Or whatever. Yeah, Apex Legends. I want to try that this weekend. I never did follow all the lore of this character. Ooh, excuse me. Man, I miss bits. It was a lot of in uh, a lot of it was explained in comics, right? Which I should give Valve more respect for. But they got rich, and they were just like, "Fuck it, let's make comics out of our games because comics are cool." Look how the music's playing over there. You can like hear it. Some emergency testing may require prolonged Stereo. interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. 
If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. For Portal Comics? I thought so. Yeah, the Portal Comics are free, I thought. They just they just posted them on like on the website. There's a really cool video of someone completing first portal within with like six portals. Oh man. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh, scary. Oh. What you gonna do? the portal pinball game on iOS. It has a Ratman section. It's cute. Oh, that's that's adorable. Man, pinball. Pinball is a whole a whole world I never got into. I can't bear the randomness. Eh. Got him. Fucking got him. Eh. Speed run. Oh, cool. Hey. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. What a great way to demonstrate to you that you have changed perspective. Like this is the first time you're changing direction, and they give you so many cues to like get it. The, like that it's above you, that you see the glass overhead, that you go to the portal, now you're falling to the glass, the glass breaks and makes a ramp to tell you where up is. Huh. It tells you, it introduces you to the concept of like changing direction and what that means in the in this world. So goddamn smart. The first time my girlfriend encountered the stream, she went cross-eyed. Ah, oh. but it made sense, right? Or like it clicked. She could, she knew what it meant. It's it's pretty wild the first time. How high were the developers when they came up with this shit? What do you mean? No, that was smart. It was just I would I would guess it was just ass loads and ass loads of iteration testing. Just like seeing where people get stuck and then trying to figure out what would get them through that. Did this game have dev commentary? Yeah. I'm just not playing it. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas. One of those might be accurate. Shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. But Oh, the portal ARG? Yeah! Wasn't it? There was like a... That was one of the earlier Steam, like, meta games too. You had to, like, play all these indie games? And do all these like sub objectives, and if you did them all, the game would unlock earlier. It's a shame they don't make games anymore, because that was actually a really cool, really cool way to do that, and a really cool way to sort of drive attention to other developers on or game developers on the platform. Maybe now people would be too competitive about it. I wonder. Wrote an article about a way. Someone wrote a fantastic article about the way Superman teaches you how to play the game without holding your hand. Hmm. Gama Sutra? Okay. I'll check it out. I always really love Super Metroid. Oh, right. Ah. I understand. Valve will never release a three. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can be comfortable. Like, I don't think you can, uh... It didn't quite work. I think you need some element of hunger to make games. Wait, what am I thinking? I 
just need another box. Why does that thing even do that? Oh, it has to be a backsplash. Portal's one of those things you just gotta let die. Yeah, I'm okay with them never making another one. What? It's a shame that they're not, uh, that although still making something, I guess. You are not alone. All artifacts. Your science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments. That's cool, man. 1.1 volts. Watching this makes me realize how much I want Valve to make these creative fun games. Yeah, I would like that too, but that's me being selfish. They made all that money, they deserve to just hang out and, like, make card games or whatever. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Well said. Yeah, Portal 2's ending was really satisfying. I'm okay with there not being Portal games forever. I just think that their talents aren't being used. Or whatever talent, like, was collected. Maybe this is the sort of thing that just can't be repeated. Like, you make, you make a few and you're done. Oh, that's right, you gotta do this. We flying now. I don't think you can go through that. Oh, you can. Okay. I thought it was going to scrape off. Employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Yay! How far into the game am I? Uh. I mean, not very, like 10 to 15 minutes. Gabe might be holding Portal 3 and Half-Life 3 as trump cards in case shit goes down with Steam and Valve in general. That doesn't make sense. Nobody runs a business like that. What? And also, that implies that he like has a DVD of it and he's like, Hehehe, <laughs> it's done, but I won't release it. And unless you mean like... If things go bad, they can always fall back to developing games. But that's like that's I don't know that that's it's like a muscle you got to stretch. I don't know that you can just go from not having any staff to uh to making sweet sweet video games again. Not with the same level of like talent. What am I missing here? Ah. I don't think that's how you do this. Oh, I need another block. A little slamming into walls, no big deal. Got this music though. There's something very like 60s movie score about it. It's like woodwind. It's ominous. Ominous low woodwinds. What instrument is that? I wasn't in band, so I don't know. Is it wrong to say that games last generation felt less serious and sometimes just dumb fun? I mean, I wouldn't. Getting this far, future star. I wouldn't say that was a trend. I think there are some that were that way. Old or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Huh. Um, after playing through Kingdom Hearts 3, do you think Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to turn out? I don't know if you can even like the original. I don't know if you even like the original. I'm curious your opinion. I think it'll be a fun game. Uh, I don't. I don't know what aspects of Final Fantasy VII people liked. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or... I think the music was really good. Um, it was technologically pretty pretty amazing for its time. It was like... It's like cyberpunk, a little. It was like anime cyberpunk, Akira vibes, which... 
I think it hit at the right time for that. You did find a portal gun! Oh, There's a lot of people... Do you know what? It just, people's first anime? People with... Bassoon. I think so. ...are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a the characters, yeah. Find me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Felt like a world in a story. Okay. Like, there's a lot of aspects to... Portal right behind me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on through to the other side. There's a lot of aspects to like about Final Fantasy VII. So, I don't know what part they have to keep to make people like the remake, you know? Lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So... Get ready to catch me. Oh, I'm gonna catch right. him. On the off chance that I'm not dead. I'm gonna I'm catch him. I pop off this thing. I'm gonna get you. On three. Here we go. Ready? Yep. One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too uh. high. Isn't it really that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ah. Uh. Right. Sorry, buddy. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Oh. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? I wonder what the ratio of people, like, how long they wait. What's the average? I can't... I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> Second RPG you ever played after Super Mario RPG? I actually think Super Mario RPG and Final Fantasy VII are way more similar than people I d I really think about. If you, t I think it's. Right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Super Mario RPG used a lot of pre-rendered graphics, just kind of the extent of what the SNES could do. Final Fantasy VII was super similar, I thought technologically. I think they have really similar looks. Bizarrely. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on there. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on. Let me just get my bearings. Um. Just follow the rail, actually. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Man, portal. Motherfucking portal. That game was like... It, that game was nerd culture for like a year and a half. People goddamn dropping Cake is a Lie references and stuff. That shit was... a. Horrible. Oh my god. <sighs> People with like little turret plushies and stuff. Ha. Ah. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um awake. God, this music is so fucking good. <sighs> VG cats? Hey. Yeah, remember VG cats? Control at delete. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. Penny I arcade. Wanna, I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. I used to watch or read a lot of Sluggy and Akewood. Akewood never. Hey man, Akewood's always good. I haven't caught caught up on it though. I think man, I'm like, I'm like ten years behind. She was honestly like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and... Uh, no, I should be hydrated, yeah. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. <laughs> the only thing about 7 Remake is people are going to be so disappointed no matter what Squeenix does. It's such a tough spot. Glad to remake the game. They put themselves in a horrible situation. Well, Panky, that's what I mean. I don't know how you... Like, I think since there's like... You say they can't live up to people's expectations. I think people don't know what to expect, you know? Depending on what you liked, you want that in a new, better form. But was it the music? Was it the setting? Was it the characters? Probably wasn't the combat system. Probably. Uh, okay, down these stairs. Jump! It's actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're gonna have to rely on the old human strength. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. It was a pretty interesting decision to have like 
this little robot man floating in front of you for a significant part of this. And this is just narrative stuff. It's like oh, running. And he's sorry, I just looked down. He's adorable enough. Oh, I've just done it again. So it works. It's just... That seems like the sort of thing where they had to try it. And then um, people were like, no, it was all right. And they were like, wow, really? You don't mind having this little robo man staring you directly in the face? I bet if it were a human, you know, that'd be weird. This Dr is the main breaker room. Drop him. Let's go in. It won't let me. Not allowed. Seems clear that this game is going to be Final Fantasy VII in setting and characters only. There's no way it would hold up today with the gameplay mechanics at the time. Yeah, no, it's like, it's open combat, right? Wasn't there a, wasn't there a gameplay video? It is the 15 combat. The 7 remake would be the best, but a significant amount of people would want turn-based, I bet. Yeah, well, whatever. If they do, Drag Quest is right there. It says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else. To, to so many switches. But as soon as you look at something, it doesn't say escape pod. I'll look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. I like how in this small room you, you can't help but plug him in. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that! It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A A A A A. Um. A A A A A A C. Wait, did I do B? Did I jump ahead? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Uh, this shit was in the trailers for the game. I must watch those trailers hundreds of times. Yeah. Yeah, right, Eric? Man, the read of that is so good. How can the acting and the writing be so good? The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Ah! Ah! ah, ah. Whoa! What? I almost fell off and everything being at GameStop for the midnight release was one of two people there for Portal 2 everyone else is buying Mortal Kombat 9 god what a pair of releases though what was that that was 2011 there it is man hold on there good you have the dual portal device there should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Probably. Once testing starts. I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? 
I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to remove killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. That's yeah, so good. Do you just jump? That doesn't feel right. Oh. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. Man. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. I... This is gonna sound dumb, but like it didn't occur to me it didn't explicitly occur to me how beautiful the writing is, and that it could play either way. Like, it could be, she's still just an AI doing what AIs do. Like, she's still just making you test, because that's what she's programmed to do. Or, she's torturing you. Probably the latter, but it could still read either way. Let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back on luck. <laughs> I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh good. Oh good! My sarcasm's back. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. I love how things slowly get more fixed in each chamber. Oh, I never even noticed that at any time. And it gives the similar humor to this. I feel like Portal managed to strike a perfect balance of humor and pacing so, that's, so that it's not annoying. It's hard to say. Um... This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Man, a game that's as funny as Portal. Monkey Island is just kind of wacky. Um, West of Loathing? Maybe Borderlands? Borderlands, Borderlands gets a little elbow in the ribs by the end of it. Behemoth is simpler humor, but yeah. Tends, tends to be consistent. <sighs> Stanley Parable is very similar, yeah. Gex. Yeah, Earthworm Gem. Now, those, are, those are very yuck yuck kind of humor. Oh, hey. Nope. Alright. Fallout has moments. I wouldn't say it's it's anywhere near all the time, though. Or anywhere near as consistent. Halo one through three was so good because of its humor. Yeah, there were there were good notes. It definitely like wasn't afraid to be a little goofy, which is appreciated. Guys, how can I laser and block at the same time? Oh, portals. Toe Jam and Earl. I never really played that. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. All right. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Psychonauts is great. Uh, 
Grand Theft Auto can be funny. Far Cry? Mm, yeah. A little bit. It's your first playthrough. How do you know about the title? Wait, this? I mean, everybody knows about Portal 2, right? Uh, but no, it's, my, it's not my first playthrough. I played through it when it came out. But I haven't played it since, so I forgot a lot. person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Or, oh, oh, the fixing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But goddamn. Gladys is going for the jugular. Sick. Sweet. That's the wrong one. I'll just go through. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> these fucking... These, these, like, between the ribs stabs are A+. Plus. Man. Just excellent, excellent writing. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Need that at some point, I'm sure. you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. These are these are some brutal drags. Like set up in spike, by the way. I was like, that's weird. She kind of gave me a compliment. Nope. Nope. It was a setup. Fuck. She got me again. Ah! Yeah, the robotic cadence. It's, yeah, it's well, insults are best when they're dry, right? Like, it's like... they're It's like they're just calmly stating the nature of the situation, which is that you are an asshole. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Thanks. Yep. Oh yeah, they start kicking up music right now because you gotta do some cool shit. 
And like it gets louder when you're going through the air? Man. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Uh, see ya, Bella. I'm having more portals. I'm gonna pack it in pretty soon too, but this, this writing is just dragging me through. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Uh, it's so good. Where am I going? It's huh? a good place to. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Ugh. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that, huh? What's up, Kyle? Yeah. There was a stream. The next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely yeah, of glass and it's pick pretty cool. up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You got it. Yeah. Damn it. <sighs> Watching speedrunners amaze me on this. Yeah. Do y'all usually get filming for videos done in the morning? Um, there's no specific time. Oh, sorry. It's just whenever we, uh, cleaning out the test whenever we can. So sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Some, some of the more recurring the videos we do are filmed at the same time, but that does it's not necessarily the morning. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Why do you ask? That sucked. One of these has to be a, a, a box then, right? Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, right? that Weird. not my problem that's what it is hey -ah. remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless that was a metaphor I was actually talking about you and I'm sorry you didn't react at the time so I was worried it sailed right over your head which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Thank you for explaining that. You can get away with so much when somebody can't say anything back. It's great. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. I love science facts. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, 
No, I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. So good. I love that they like, they play with the idea of the stupid heart companion cube. Man, nerds fucking dorking out about companion cubes. 2007 was a hard year, okay? For a lot of reasons. If I never, I hope, I hope everyone that got a companion cube tattoo realizes what they've done. Okay, I gotta get the box. I gotta get this stupid companion cube. That's probably not gonna work. Yeah, I gotta jump with it. Yeah, the companion cube memes. Thank God the memes have gotten better, you know? We can all at least agree that the memes are better. We've progressed. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Is that like a... Can you actually try to take it with you? Who knows? Have they, or are there just more of them? Hmm. That's true, Danny. There might just be more of them. So, uh, I only see the better ones. Yeah, I'll accept that. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. No, anyway. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. And I'll be fast off, then I can get the as I can. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Excellent. Uh... I should go to sl or I should stop streaming at least. I'm still gonna play video games because I'm like that, but... I think I'm going to stop streaming there for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you GLaDOS for dragging my ass into hell. Sorry you didn't get the notification, Kala. But at least we have better TV emotes now. So, life's better. Yeah, yeah more Portal. God, that writing is so good. The Cave Johnson stuff I remember just... Legendary. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. These two fine products from Upjohn are recommended most by doctors and pharmacists. Chaopectate for diarrhea, Cordaid for minor itches and rashes. Cordaid relieves itches and rashes caused by eczema, dermatitis, insect bites, poison ivy, and oak. Chaopectate is the diarrhea specialist, the only leading non-prescription medication created just for diarrhea. You have relief within 24 hours. Cordaid and Chaopectate from Upjohn. Recommended most by doctors and pharmacists. And they're right. <laughs>
We're changing the name of Datsun to Nissan. I hope you're not changing all that room. No, all we're changing is our name. From now on, we're Nissan. I hope you're not changing that great performance, Datsun. Uh, Nissan. We wouldn't dream of it. All we're changing is our name. Okay, from now on, you're Nissan. Come alive, come and drive. Major motion from Nissan. The name is Nissan.